tonight on the Howard Stern Radio Show. And what about your buttocks? Is that used as a sexual pleasure dome, or are you against that? I would say for her beauty and overall appearance, I give her a... a take a moment to present you with something. Don't give me anything. I don't want it. Oh, is that your breast implant? Yes. Oh. oh. Ooh. Yeah, and going to the bathroom's got to be incredibly difficult, right? First thing when you wake up. Because uh -huh. both of you have to go. Well, we both can go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Howard Stern Radio Show. The man of the hour, the king of all media, Howard Stern! Where is uh, Nikki St. Giles, penthouse pet? And she's up for pet of the year. She's from Holland. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, there's uh, Nikki St. Giles. Whoa. Uh, she sure is. Sure is a piece of ass. <laughs> There's no question about that. Yeah, you are hot. No question about that. Well, you're a very beautiful woman. I'm sure you're used to having guys fawn all over you. But uh, you've probably had sex with women, I assume. Uh, yes. You have? Oh, I'd love to see that. <laughs> well. <laughs> Before you do that, do you smoke lots of pot and get really high? Uh, no. No? You like to be straight when you do that? Yes. And who are these girls you're with? Other uh, other penthouse oh, pets? Uh, yeah, I just did it for a penthouse video, so oh. that's the only experiences I have. And when you did the video, you were totally nude with a woman? I was totally nude with a woman in bed. And w did you get aroused and, and, and feel very sexy when you were doing this? Yeah, I mean, the girl you were. was very nice. And was she actually doing stuff to you, or were you simulating it? Oh, no, she was doing it. <laughs> she oh, was doing she it. Was. Come on. <laughs> and you, you, you didn't stop her. You liked it. Oh, yeah, I did. Because don't they, when you first decide to make these videos, mm -hmm. and they bring another woman, had you ever made love to a woman before this? No. You had This was the first time? Yeah. When you had to do the video? Yes. So were you I, nervous? I was, yeah, but I mean, I wanted to do it because I, I wanted to know what it was like uh -huh, anyway. So, what so, so in other words, you had thought about making love to another woman. Mm -hmm. Who conjures up the fantasy? In other words, who tells you what you're going to wear when you do a lesbian scene for Penthouse with uh, another woman? Well, the director does, Nicholas Cuccioni. Right. Nicholas, Nicholas Cuccioni. Cuccioni. Oh. The son of Bob? <laughs> yes. Now, oh, see, there's man. the son you want to emulate, right? <laughs> Why you is want to be Nicholas Cuccioni. Why can't my father be Bob Cuccioni? <laughs> <laughs> well, ask him to adopt you. I did. I asked him yesterday. Yeah, he, he, left. he left. He left. He went in that, that deep voice. He goes, <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> You're a very funny young man. <laughs> uh, excuse me while I go to the bathroom in my Colby day. <laughs> so, you, okay, so uh, Nicholas Guccione <laughs> decides what the fantasy will be. Now, yes. what do they dress you up in uh, for this? Well, it depends. I mean, what did you wear for we, your we, lesbian for scene? What were you wearing? Um, well, not much actually. <laughs> what did you have on to uh, start with? We just with? had on a uh, little bikinis. She was wearing a white one, and I was wearing a black one. You go. You, uh, where did it take place? On a beach? In the in the bathing suits, or you did it indoors? No, no, indoors. Indoors. What? On a bed? bed? Yes. In a bedroom. Okay. Uh. So you get on the set, <laughs> and you're in a bikini, and you've never made love to a woman before. Uh huh. All right. And what do you do to uh, lighten the mood? I mean, do you, the two of you just go right into it? Do you start kissing each other? Drinking? You like, what are you doing? No. You, um, you don't get a little buzz going? Out, small, just kisses and, and oh. hair, you know. And touching each other's hair and kissing. Now, when she started <laughs> yeah. to kiss you, did you get excited? Um, no, not yet. I was pretty nervous. You were nervous? Yeah. And uh, then he says to you, okay, girls, take off your tops. Yeah. And then you start to take off your tops, and yes. the two of you start messing around with each other. Yes. And then you take off everything, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. And and once when, she at what point does she get excited? <laughs> yeah. Well, somewhere in the middle, while doing it, you kind of forget that there's cameras around and and other people standing around, and so and you just get into it. All right. So at first, you probably figure, well, maybe she'll just make believe she's doing something to me, right? And mm -hmm. and they'll be pretend. But she seemed to be attracted to you, didn't she? <laughs> well, I can't speak for her, but... Uh. Yeah, she really said, hey, I'm going to really do this to her. Yes. So she, 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 uh, so this is the first time this was done to you, and you were going wild. Well, not really wild, but I did enjoy you it. You began to moan? Did you moan when you... Uh, yes. You did? Yes. Uh, what does that sound like? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh don't it. interrupt her. She's <laughs> laughing at you. I was trying to get into it with her. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, and, and when you were in this lesbian scene, did you keep your shoes on or off? Um, on. 
on. Why is that? The shoes have to stay. Yeah, it, it's yeah, very important. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? It's not weird. I'm a guy. I like that. Okay, well, what kind of shoes are you wearing to today? Us. Let me see what hot shoes you're wearing She's today. She's got well, the New York kind of shoes hot. on today. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Those she are lo he those loves are those kind of shoes. And your dress today is barely a dress. Your, your chest is almost hanging out of it. I, I wonder if uh, you're wearing panties today, are you? Well, um, I wasn't, but then I did. Why did you switch? Well, because the dress is very short. And you didn't want anyone to see your private parts. Right. Why Why is that? I mean, you're used to showing off your private parts. And but yet, only for money. Right. Yeah. Is that it? You feel most comfortable showing your private parts for money? Um, no, I feel most comfortable showing my private parts in private. Right. Yeah. And as I look at you now, I see that you are maybe one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. So, so has it always been that way? I mean, have you always been good looking? Uh, or did you work on yourself? Did you have any work done beside the breasts? Uh, no, no, no. When did you get the breasts done? Recently? Oh, no. Um, I had them done like five, five or six years ago. Oh, really? And do they bother you? Oh, no. Of I course not. Them. That I is a myth. <laughs> that is a myth started by women's liberationists. There's nothing wrong with them. So you're, uh, you must have been a very beautiful child in high school, even. I bet you had an affair with one of your teachers. Isn't that true? Oh, no, I did not. I did have crushes on my teachers. And did some of the teachers uh, have a crush on you? Uh, no. Let's have you be, run into well, any of them They never told now? me. <laughs> and they never told I you? I didn't look like this in high school. But really? No. I can't imagine what you look like. <laughs> but uh, you, <laughs> you had, uh, but you never had sex with any of your teachers? No. And none of them ever stared at you? Did you go to school in provocative clothing, like short yes. dresses? You did. You, you were, tried. You tried to seduce them. You were a sexy dresser at school. I was, and I got sent home for that a lot of What did you wear to school? Many skirts? Well, I, I mean, I didn't think there were that many. Just skirts and high heels. Hot and, pants. and little tops and hot <laughs> pants, cha cha heels cha -cha with your buttocks <laughs> showing. I see. Mm, man, I tell you, you're so cute. I date your brother. <laughs> Do you have a brother? No. Well, I would like to go out with him. <laughs> <laughs> and what about your buttocks? Is that used as a sexual pleasure dome, or are you against that? Oh no, I'm. Uh, you are into that. Oh, I am definitely oh, into that. You love that. Oh. I love that. Good answer. Now, when did you discover that you enjoyed that? Um, six months ago. Really? Oh. That recently? Oh, yeah. new to it. That's huh? probably why I like it so much. <laughs> it actually is very popular in Europe and Baltimore. <laughs> Where Robin is from. I was never in Baltimore when it happened. <laughs> really? No. Well, you're from Baltimore. That's where you learned it. No, I didn't learn it Now, this it is there. something that you'd like to put into your regular sexual repertoire with your boyfriend. It's only happened once or twice? No. Many times. Many times. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Because, like, I, I did it to my wife, and uh, it hasn't happened again. Oh, uh, she didn't like it? I think she did like it, but it's, it's something that, I don't know how come, it just, it just doesn't seem to happen. I think with you it would happen more. Well, maybe she just needs to get on, get very, very turned on or something. Maybe I keep trying a, to tell him. That is yeah, very right? difficult. Yeah. That's very difficult for me. <laughs> All right, Nikki, congratulations on being personally invaded. <laughs> thank and, you. And uh, thank you for doing our show. Penthouse Pet of the Year, I predict. Yes. Nikki saint uh from Holland. Yeah. You can't be separated, right? Not now, no. Not now. You wouldn't want to be, though. This is the way God made us. <laughs> Lori and Reba have been joined at the head for how many years now? Hmm. I think now they can actually separate them. But, uh, you know, these kids when they're born. where they're joined. Hey, Lori. Hi, Reba. That's Lori, right? I'm Lori. Yeah, and that's Reba over there. Yes. Hi, Reba. Hi. How you doing? Hi. All right. You. Where were you guys born, anyway? Uh, in Reading, Pennsylvania. Yeah, and you still live in Reading? Yes, we do. Uh, was it tough for you growing up? I mean, kids goofing on you and stuff like that? Uh... I don't think it's it wasn't much any different than for any other kids when they're growing up. I mean, every kid gets picked on. You can't be separated, right? Not now, no. Not now. Cause you wouldn't want to be, though. This is the way God made us. Okay, let me ask you this. Sure. Uh, you, have you dated men? Well, I'm not dating right now, but when I did, yeah. the man would have to like me for me. Right. And really want to go out with me. But when I you're mean, on the date, would like... With him if they don't like her. But when you're on the date, would Reba have to be quiet? So she that, wouldn't even talk. She really? Doesn't, she doesn't, she knows that that's my time, and she doesn't interrupt us at all. Okay, so let's say Reba's concentrating on her country music career, right? Right. Reba, you play guitar? Uh, I do, but poorly. Okay, let's say you have a date plan with a guy, and what? Reba's going to perform at a country music thing. you got to really work out who's going to be the dominant person and get their way. Her career comes first, and so if she has a gig right. one night, 
and I and a guy asked me out for that night. I say, hey, if you want to go out with me, we're going to a show. So did you ever consider taking up an instrument so you could accompany? No, I don't want to be. I'm not. I want to be separate from that. You that's don't want to perform. Her, no. Right. That's her career. We are two separate people, just conjoined. And 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 and, and uh, and, but sexually, uh, you've had boyfriends and. and I, I don't talk. You don't talk about sex. No. I mean, I, I'm a normal person. Right. You have your needs. I've had my dates and stuff right. like that, but that's where that's it goes. as far as she's going with it. Right. Medically, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen it. doctors and stuff. Um, what what if I, don't, I hope this never you know happens soon? But when one of you dies, what happens? You can uh, take care of that if it's done right in time. They can save the other one. What about uh, uh, just in terms of uh, a typical day? <laughs> you guys wake up. Even getting dressed has to take a long time, right? I mean, seriously, no, most I of the... Mean, we got up at 7.30. I was completely dressed when they called. Really? Like, and what about your parents? Are they involved with you, or were they... Oh, sure. They are? Yes. Do they live on their own? You guys live alone, or... Yes, we do. You do? Yes. Got your own place? Yes. And how, could, and how do you earn a living to pay for the place? Do you get it through, like, uh, Social Security benefits and stuff? I do right now, yes. Right, okay. Yes. But you can make money, Reba can make money performing her music. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So she says she uh, gets assistance, Reba does not? Right. Right, Reba doesn't get assistance. So, so uh, typical day, get up. Now, let's say even preparing breakfast. Like, you like one Who thing. Cooks? You, I mean, cooking, I'm the whole the cooker. thing. You're the cooker. I do the uh, cooking, cleaning, all that stuff. I'm the sort of like the person that does all the stuff like that. Yeah, and going to the bathroom's got to be incredibly difficult, right? Uh -uh. First thing when you wake up. Because uh -uh. both of you have to go. Well, we both can go. You can? Yeah. But like, like... Who goes first? Who goes first? Whichever one has to go the whole worst. Wow. <laughs> and what about guys like like circus guys? Did they ever try to turn you guys into freaks and put you in a freak show and I stuff like that? I think when we were little, our parents got asked and stuff, but no, we ne they never wanted us that because we're not freaks. No, I'm thinking maybe my wife and I should get joined at the head, then we yeah, wouldn't fight so much. Figure out no, how to get along. Th th I'm telling you. I don't you. think I wouldn't recommend. I mean, I don't recommend that somebody go do it. Because right. That's well, I'll tell you something. You got an incredibly she great attitude. It's, it's pretty uplifting. I mean, seriously. I was going to say, are you you feel bad about your complaints? Because yeah, I complain every day, and I'm saying, you know what? You know, at least I can go off by myself. That's one of the things I, you know, that's I'm treasure. I'm a loner. I am. What would you do if you had me with you all day long? Oh, my I God. I would kill you. <laughs> I would kill he him. He would strangle you. I swear. Now, yeah. But I really would. would have been that way all your lives. You'd have gotten used to it. Uh, not him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> There's no way. But anyway, um, listen, I know that uh, Reba wanted to do a song. I'd love to hear it. So, uh, Reba, if you would, uh, this is uh, Give a Little Back? Yes. I see. All right, here we go. This is Reba, who is going to sing. Mama taught me a lot about living, always be honest and kind. Take the gifts that you've been given, give a little back, you'll do just fine. Mama never was good at keeping up with everybody in town. She said the good Lord will see that you always have enough from what goes around comes back around mama taught me a lot about living always be honest and kind take the gifts that you've been given you give a little back you'll do just fine give a little back give a little back give a little back you'll do just fine beautiful very nice very nice Reba, of course, uh, embarking on a country music career. But anyway, you guys have uh, gone against all the odds and actually created a happy life for yourself, so that's great. Reba, we'll look for your cassette. Thank you. And uh, thank you, uh, Lori, as well. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Does Bob Dylan give you oral sex? Yes. Sally Kirkland had her breast implants removed. Oh, look at that. There she is. Let me see your cans. <laughs> and uh, well, I guess, uh, what's his name here? It's David Kreef. I don't know why. Let me see your chest. Hold on. Here. Let me see. 
You look good. Your body looks great. You look thin, like you lost some weight. Um, I think they're two different sizes, though. Ugh. Robin, I'm looking. The, the left is big. No, the right is bigger than the left. It's true. They it took five hours to get the hardened scar tissue off of my left breast. Oh. So this is the one that was most. Um, so why can't they make them the same size? What kind of surgeon did I you think have? They will be by the time. There's still stitches in here. It hasn't dropped. Ooh. It hasn't, Maybe know. I don't want to see those. Ooh. Uh, David, why are you here with Sally? Really, Davis, I mean, Davis you know, if you were on Letterman, you wouldn't bring out David with you. Seriously, people treat this show like garbage. Howard, I thought you requested my presence. No, I did not request your presence. Why David. do you glom onto every... He's the guy who comes in here with... Uh, Jan Michael Vincent. Jan Michael Vincent. Well, David. last time we were here for Tanya and Nancy. Now I'm here supporting my friend, Sally, who's gone well, through a hard time. Hold it, hold it, Sally. Don't answer this question. I'm talking to David. I'm going to get to you in a minute. Yeah, okay. All right. You're going to rip me apart first. <laughs> no, you're such a star effer. I swear to God. Every time David, a star... Excuse me, Sally. Am I talking okay. to you? No. Yeah. I'm talking to David. Uh, okay. David, every time a star has a medical problem, yeah. like Jan you're Michael there. Vincent yeah. or Sally Kirkland, you're there. It was my mother's need for me to be a doctor. I saw you on Oprah. I yeah. didn't see David sitting next to you on Oprah. I saw you sitting on Oprah yeah. by yourself. Yeah. Well, why is David? Happen? How does that happen? How does Oprah get the respect that for, I can't for get? The no, uh, main purpose of the the concentrated conversation we're going to have about Sally. And it if, was if I but David, you're nobody. Of no offense, you're a nobody. Howard, you're David, no one. Howard, Sally Robin, is an actress. Robin, Excuse Robin, me. Robin, no, Robin, I'm not talking Sally to you yet. Can talk. Wait, Sally, uh, Sally can't David talk. David and I are partners in the Kirkland I don't care. for Implant Syndrome so Survival. So what? David, David is not you well are the known. Spokesperson. You he doesn't are, need to be here. David has been my person who's been giving me monies to start my nonprofit uh, organization. Oh, money. Get out of here, I'm David. getting All right, now leave. <laughs> for free to David is less than zero. Problems. <laughs> but you still my, love me. My, my, uh, David was the one that... And that, even if you sit there and criticize David, he, he will care. not leave. He smiles <laughs> and he stays. He loves it. He <laughs> wants to be famous in the worst way. All you have to do is keep mentioning his name. He's a happy human being. Yeah, David Creep, no, David Creep, David Creep. $500,000. Just being, being here, Howard, yeah. you've made me money. No, but I'm saying... I'm just Thank saying, you, if, if, if Sally Kirkland was invited on Larry King to do the Larry King show... Where would you be? You would be backstage. Howard, I would like to take a moment to present you with something. Don't give me anything. I don't want... Oh, is that your breast implant? Yes. Oh. 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 Now you wow, look is look that how really big it? they were. Oh is that really it, Sally? Yeah. This is your breast implant. Wow. <laughs> Heavy. Look what you were carrying around. Yeah. They were beautiful. Oh. Wow. Look at how big, though. Are those saline or... Um... Those are saline. I had the silicone taken out in 95, saline put in. I had three surgeries between 95... You look better ago. since you got them taken out. Thank you. You do. Thank you do you look... Your, your body looks trimmer. Thank you. You, you look uh, younger. And I'm healthy. Sally had these big, yeah. luscious yeah. cans. And I love it. I loved them. I loved the way they looked. They looked great on her, and she loved to show them to people. Oh. Mm. Now, it is true. She was one of the first people to get them, and she got silicon breast implants. Mm -hmm. 1986. 1986. That was the mistake. Uh -huh. Ratso, do you know Ratso Sloman? Sure. Yes, I do too. Ratso, Ratso says he knows the history of Sally's breasts. All right. Yeah. All right, Ratso, go hey, ahead. Well, you know, I've known Sally 25 years. That's we met true. on the Rolling Thunder tour uh, with Bob, Bob Dylan. Dylan. And, uh, you know, they're, they're really... And neither one of you can get in touch with Bob. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not true. I had a date with him in January. You're telling me in January you had a date before you had your breast removed right. with Bob, Bob Dylan. Bob said, I like you better without them. And where did you go? To his hotel? No, to my Malibu house. He came to your house. But listen, can I right, tell you so something? So when Bob comes over your house, you make yeah. him dinner? No, I don't know how to cook, Howard. And what do you do? You just immediately get nude and he has he hops on top of you? poetry. Of what does that mean? Wait a minute, really? You sit there and read Bob Dylan poetry? I say, uh, my favorite poet traveled, traveled to me. His phrase kept repeating like a Gregorian chant from my third eye in inner city. How does it feel? How does it feel? Do. She like must be good, stone, huh? Like a rolling stone. <laughs> the guy, it was small, so I'm going blank now. Ratso, save me. You know, okay. Bob wanted Ratso to write about me. And Bob and comes Ratso's over your house, the great Bob. Bob Dylan, and he has sex with you how many times? No, I'm not going to go there. Does right he have sex with you? You are. I'm not you are go going there. there. You're going there. I'm not you have go no there. choice. <laughs> you are. You are an Academy Award nominee. You must go Bob there. Bob and I did make love in January. I will say that. Uh, how many times? I'm not going to stop that. We is Bob good? Is Bob on Viagra? Bob is great. Oh. <laughs> no, Bob is great. Why is Bob so great? Because he loves women. He loves women. He is not threatened by crazy, wonderful, strong, artistic women. And when he makes love to you, you feel satisfied. You have an orgasm. You know what, Howard? Go ahead. You know, you, you've not Answer done this it in your own way. Before. This is not fair. You know, why is it not fair? 
Yes, I have an orgasm. Leave me alone. All right, so you do have an orgasm. Stop wow. this. I want to yes. know if Bob can deliver the goods. That's all. Okay. Yes, Bob I don't can think that's an outrageous question. I think Larry King would ask the same question. <laughs> or Oprah. <laughs> what is it? Bob calls you and says, Sally, I'm thinking of you. Your lovemaking is incredible. I have to have yeah. more. We get together. How often do you make love to him? You know what? You are so rude. Yes. You are so yes, rude. Yes, I am. How often do you make love to Allison? How often Once do you a month. go down on her? Do you go down Once on her a month. Three Once, hours yes. No. Not Allison, hardly ever. You're listening. For a few weeks. I hardly ever. Married. Hardly ever. I don't well, need to. I'm married. Now, Robert, we I only had do that to uh, women that I don't know. Time ago. And I said that I hoped that he would go down on Allison. Oh, come on. Three That's outrageous. This is a radio show. You can't say well, that. You can say oral okay. sex. Oral sex. Well, okay. I do I give my wife oral, oral sex? sex? Very rarely. I'll hours. answer any question. Well, I have nothing to hide, Sally. Let me tell you something. That's if you right. think that I'm rude, I am not. I will answer all these questions. Right. What is it? How many times do I make love to my wife? Once a month. No, no, no. You that told is me it. it was more than that. Last nope. time I was on the show, you told me it was more How, than When that. was the last time you were on the show? Two years ago. All right. In two years, once a month. That's enough for me. Is that a that's not enough, Howard. No, that's all I get. Allison. And Allison. Then, and how often do I what? Have oral sex? Yeah. Never. Allison. Never. How Allison. often do you receive one? I know. You Never. Know what? You're too happily married <laughs> not to have oral sex. <laughs> never. You're, you're too never happily married. Never, <laughs> never, I, never. I, never. <laughs> I know All right. differently. Does Bob Dylan give you oral sex? Yes. For he does. three hours? For three hours? Oh, stop this. Ah, uh, you see? Ratso, you wanted to get into the honest game. Ratso. I hung up on that guy. Ratso. Ratso, did you have oral sex with Bob Dylan? I can't confirm or deny that. All right. <laughs> All right. I, I got rid of Ratso. It's enough with him. All right, listen. Sally Kirkland removed her breasts, in all seriousness. And started a foundation. I started a foundation. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Your Kirkland Institute for Implant Syndrome Survival, in all seriousness, can be uh, contacted at 213-460-2475. Right. Sally has a website for women who are having trouble okay. with their breast implants. www.sallykirkland.com. Congratulations on getting your breast Thank implants you, out. Howard. I want to thank David Creep for coming in. Creep. David Creep. What is his name again? Creep. David Creep. Thank you, David Howard, Creep, for whatever. Me. And I want to uh, tell all women to get in touch with Sally who need her. SallyKirkland.com. Thank you, Sally, for revealing so much, particularly about your lovemaking sessions to Bob Dylan. <laughs> I love that. You like the way she looks. She's very pretty, right? Yes. Would you have sex with her? Oh, I wouldn't mind it. Right. <laughs> you like uh, all kind of young girls, don't right. you? Right. Welcome to the Howard Stern Intern Beauty Pageant, where sweet, young, innocent college girls who work in our office for free get to compete for prizes wearing bikinis. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm already aroused, Robin. Wait a minute, the girls haven't gotten here yet. I know, just thinking about the girls walking in the room, I'm aroused. Well, I am anxious now, though, to let the audience in on who our judges are. Here is our announcer. This Puerto Rican teenager is as good a speaker as Christopher Reeve is a track and field sprinter. Here's Francisco the Stutterer. Everybody remembers Francisco the Stutterer. How are you, Francisco? All right, all right, how are you? This is your second appearance on our show, is that correct? Yes, it is. Have your friends and family said anything to you about it? Yeah. What'd they say? Mira, esta gente son locos. A no me quieren, esta gente se va para allá. English only, Francisco. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> when it comes to this judge, intellectual, brainy, and good-looking are just some of the words that will never, ever be used to describe him. Gary the Retard. All right, Gary the Retard. How are you, Gary? I'll admit it. All right, all right. Gary the Retard. And let's meet our third and final judge. This is a very exciting day. Nobody knows if this judge is gay. Nobody knows why he is here, except to humiliate, degrade, and piss off the sweet young interns in this contest. Here's Ralph the Fag. Thank you, Paul. I really love that nickname. It's great. <laughs> right. Here we go. Um, uh, Baba Booey, let's bring in our first contestant, Mr. Announcer, if you will. Our first gal is 5'9", 21, and a ginger spice look-alike. She likes rollerblading, sex with Jews, and she's Irish Catholic. Let's welcome Debra. Very sexy, Debra. We are very fortunate very beautiful dress. that we're in an industry where uh, young girls like to volunteer to work. <laughs> I was going to ask uh, Deb her most embarrassing moment, but I already know what it is. What is it? Oh. What is it? Isn't it when um, one of our other contestants is Lisa, and Deb was bad-mouthing Lisa, oh. and didn't realize Lisa was in the room. Isn't that, oh. wasn't that one of your I most... Just, <laughs> no, I did not bad-mouth Lisa. You said you didn't like her. I said that we're better off not working together. Is that and, I, what you said? and I think she heard me. She did Aww. hear you. Yeah. So did you ever talk to her about it? No, because it 
Because I grew to learn to work with her because we're all in this together. Now, uh, let me ask you a question. How many sex partners should a girl have before marriage, in your estimation? I think that they should be able to count on one hand. Really? Yes. Mm. They should choose very carefully. So you've had very few sex partners? I'm very careful. You are? Yes. Mm. And what is it about sex with Jews? You've had mostly Jewish boyfriends, yes. is that right? I went to Syracuse University, so it's not... Is that Very where, hard. Is that where Jews uh, congregate? They flock there. They do. Yes. I would think and that she can still count on one hand. Wow. Yes. Mm. Those Jews aren't too good at scoring. <laughs> <laughs> and um, who in history or in the present would you most like to meet and why? Mm. Well, since I've already met you. Thank you. Um, mm. Good answer. Would it be Lisa's assassin? <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to sing for us? Yes, I am. The minute I entered this thing You could tell I was a chick with distinction A real fine intern Nice boobies, super butt My mother is so nervous and she thinks I'm a nut So give me plenty of points for you judges, I might get down on my knees. Yeah. Hey there, judges. I'll speak straight. Did I say my chest was a C? Is that true? Your chest is a C? That's very nice. I guess so. <laughs> Luckily, your chest isn't as flat as you're singing. I'll tell you that. But, uh, I that was, she did a good job. Hey, I had fun. Good, I had that fun. was a good song. And you were very sexy the way you moved during it. I'm going to go first to Francisco the Stutterer. Out of a scale of 1, one to, to 10, 10, Francisco, uh, what kind of numbers do you give, Deb? All right. On the outfit. <laughs> Francisco the Stutterer. Do we have uh, all day to get these? <laughs> on the these outfit, scores? you gave her what? I, an 8. Right. And what, what about her... Um, her talent and, and her and her and her, uh, and her personality. Personality. Oh, I had her. Um, Give him from that microphone. I don't want to miss a stutter. Yeah. There you go. Personality. I gave her an eight and a half. Huh? Wow. Uh, good scores. And what about her uh, talent? A three. Three. A three. Hey. <laughs> I like all right, song. let's go to Gary the retard now. What do you give her on a scale of one to ten? All right, what would you give her in terms of her uh, overall beauty? I think give her a ten. A ten for she that. Gonna give everybody okay, ten all right. For everything. Now, what about her uh, personality? Oh, she's got a good personality. What do you give her? One to ten. Another ten. Another ten. All right. I'm surprised. And what about uh, what about her talent, the singing talent? Yeah, she, she's good. And, and what, what do you give her? her? I'll give her <laughs> one to ten. Another ten. Another ten. <laughs> wow, that's thirty points. I'll see you after Gary. Oh, she likes you. Yeah. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to mean. Ralph. I don't dig the outfit. Oh. You, you, I agree. You can't see her legs. Okay. Oh, please. So we'll give her a number. I like the sparkles. She's got little sparkly things on her. I'll give her a seven. Okay. All right. All right. That's, That's not, not bad. bad. That's not bad. What about, yeah. um, what about her personality? Personality I thought was good. She was honest. <laughs> I'll just give her a seven. A seven on her personality. And what about her I song? I thought the talent was good. And so what did she get? An eight. An eight. All right. All right. Not bad scores for yeah, Ralph. Very who's, good. Who's angry at women. <laughs> Our second gal is our first Asian intern beauty contestant. She's five foot four, 120 pounds, 34, 28, 34, and she's one sweet egg roll. Here's Corey. Let's get to the personality part before we get to your talent. Uh, Corey, very beautiful and looking great today. Who would your first three guests be on your new talk show? Dead or alive? Dead or alive? Probably you. Forget me. No, seriously, yeah. you. I'm a good guy, that's because true. Because you're but funny, you make the show exciting. Thank you. Um, probably, oh, God, that's hard. Um, James Dean. James Dean, yes, okay. I'm a big fan Famous of movie actor who died at a young age. And my grandfather. You would have your grandfather? Yeah. Your show would be less successful than Magic Johnson. <laughs> oh, 
Who wants, so it, who wants to hear from Don't your grandfather? Don't let her book the show if she gets one. Why would you have your grandfather? Because he just passed away, and it's just like, you know, if I had to. Although, you have me on the show, why uh, gl why glut it up with a bunch of grandfathers You're not going to let granddad talk anymore. And James <laughs> Dean. I'll be making out with him on the couch. <laughs> you probably would. I'll Shut be quiet. You have him way too good a time. <laughs> and is penis size important to you? Because you are Chinese. Uh, I imagine that wow. most Oriental men are not Asian that big. Men? Asian men are not that big. Um... No, penis size isn't that big. It's not a big deal no. to you. I didn't think so. Are Asian men small? <laughs> yes. Aren't they? Yeah. Did you ever see your dad naked? <laughs> oh, no. You never saw your dad naked? No. Oh, no, that's never. a lie. How could you not see your father naked? You never saw him when like, he was walking out of the shower or something? No, I never saw my, my parents have been divorced like 10 years already, so. Right. But as far as I can remember, no. Really? All right. <gasps> now, you, you prepared a song for today? Yeah. Okay. Here's the beautiful Corey. <laughs> oh, my name is Corey Tin. I'm young and Asian. People say I've got a smoking bod. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, sweeter than a spring roll. I'm I'm sweeter than a spring roll. I'm tight and I'm 20. Mm. I use chopsticks to put my panties on. <laughs> you use chopsticks to put your panties on? That's beautiful. Um, let's um, go to our judges now. All I'm going right. to go to um, Ralph first. You know what she's going to lose points for is you can't see your cans. I mean... So oh, dear. Oh, stop. Jesus. Just should she have worn a bikini? Yeah, should she have worn a bikini? She, she, she should have worn something sexier. Right. Ralph, Show I think her, this is very sexy. It's not. I'm not seeing any skin. You're, he doesn't she's got plenty of skin. You see her shoulders. Her arms. Shoulders. Who wants to see arms and shoulders? You want to see cleavage? Right. You want to see legs? That's sexy. Good point. Well, just give her a number. I'm going to give her a seven. That's overall seven for everything. That's still good, though. All right, so you're just giving her a seven. Yeah. So what about her personality? Personality. I I think, like, Corey, I think is really cute, but right. then she starts talking, and she's, like, a little goofy. She's, like, too chatty. Oh, right. oh like, Ralph. Like that, like the faces. She's, like, <laughs> like real. she's real expressive. Right. I think it would be sexier not... if she was just a little bit more demure. And You're saying that when she talks, she's a little too chatty. She's too chatty, and she's real, like, you know, she frowns, and she goes, like, now. You don't like her about. facial expressions? Yeah, too, but she, I think, I still think. Too demonstrative. Yeah, I still think she's pretty, <laughs> but if she would just pull back a little bit on that. All right, so what number do you give her on a personality? So, because of that, I'm going to have to uh, give her a six on personality. Oh. No, seven. All right. Seven. All right, seven. What and what about, you? Uh, what about her talent, Ralph? Her talent, uh, she should have practiced a little more. I'm going to have to give her a six on that. Okay. 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 Francisco, just her overall beauty and appearance. Well, I would say for her beauty and overall appearance, I give her a s seven. Oh, seven. I didn't know which way that was going. <laughs> that was great. I thought it was going down to a six. Suspense? <laughs> All right, a seven. And what about her um, personality, the way she spoke? I would say I give her a nine. A nine. A nine. Uh, nine. Francisco the stuttered clocking in with a nine. That's For, a very that high score. That's her personality? You, li you like that? Yeah. <laughs> and what about her performance, her song? Corey, you won me over. Uh-oh. With your song. No, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, uh oh, there's love in the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's two fags on the panel. <laughs> Go ahead. He ain't no oh, fag. Don't play that. Be quiet. Yeah, he, don't, he don't play that. No. Go ahead. What do you give Shut it? Shut up, fat. Sorry. I hand her a f <laughs> five. A five for a song. Okay. Gary the retard. Let's go to you. Gary, Corey, her appearance. What do you what do you give her? Scale of one to ten, please. Ten. A ten. You like the way she looks. Yeah, this is a shot. Yes. You like the way she looks. She's very pretty, right? Yes. Would you have sex with her? Wait. I wouldn't mind it. Right. You like uh, all kind of young girls, don't right. you? Right. Okay. What about her personality, the way she spoke? I think her personality is really great. <laughs> and what would you give her, Gary? I'd give her a, probably like a 10. A 10? A 10. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And what about her song? 1 to 10. Another 10. Another 10. All right. Sweet. Yeah. I love that he's got to think about it. Yeah, well, you had to think. You had to think about it, sure. Uh, Corey, very high scores. He's taking this judging very seriously. I That's like right. Better than these dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Next to me, they're just hogs. <laughs> Cheese.
She's a 36C, a beauty queen with a tan that rivals Nelson Mandela's. She's had sex in a library. Meet the girl who brushed her teeth with Preparation H. Here's Lisa. <laughs> now, is it true that you and Deb have a rivalry outside of this pageant? No, I mean, I'll be honest. Like, people should think before they speak. But honestly, I was um, in the room. She didn't realize it. And right. whatever her reasons were, she said what she said. That's fine, because honestly, um, I know me. <laughs> she knows herself. We, we're just different personalities. Do you think that she um, was out of place saying something negative about you in I the mean, workplace? Yeah, because it was in the beginning of the semester, and right. no one really got to know each other yet. And I just feel like she really didn't give me a chance, which is fine. If that's her prerogative. Do you, Do you think find that that happens to you a lot? People don't give you a chance right away. They pre because you. of your beauty. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't even know if it's necessarily because of my beauty, but I know uh, people usually judge me for what I am, not who I am. And in a sense, it's hurtful just because I consider myself a relatively nice person. But on the other hand, I understand when envy comes into place. And I don't know. I guess Deb, I wouldn't say, say envy. I wouldn't say. Oh, come on. Deb. Deb, are you envious of Lisa? No, I'm not. I just felt like our personalities were very different. I wouldn't call it envy. I see. At fight. Would you like to scratch uh, Lisa's eyes out? Lisa, would you like no, to scratch no, her no, eyes out? No, Neither no. of us are mean to each other. We get along fine. You in do this. get along we fine. Do. Deb, do you now recognize that you should not go with no, maybe a I first shouldn't. impression? I yeah, that's I've learned. That's what I'll I've tell you. The here. second well, I met Lisa, I liked her. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, yes, Howard. Though you know what? In 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 defense of of Deb. A yeah. lot of people seem not to. I, I don't know why, but a lot of people don't seem to like Lisa. Really? really Lisa? Is it because of your beauty? Everybody, you think? I honestly don't know what it is. Everybody oh. has come up to me. I haven't heard any of that. The everybody everybody has come approached? up to me and said, don't let Lisa win. Be harsh oh, on her. Really? Right. It comes down to it that I'm I here why. to do my job. I'm lucky enough to have had this internship, right. and I'm here. I bust my hump to do my job, and then I go home. That's just, it's a professional I situation. I see nothing but professionalism. Corey is rolling her cheerful? eyes now and making faces. Wow. What is the matter, Corey? Like, it's nothing. What, what is it, Corey? Everybody Tell her, talks maybe... about everybody, and it's not saying that we just talk about Lisa as ourselves, but everybody but, talks about everybody. But why does everybody dislike her? I mean, maybe I you can know. help her. I didn't like her in the beginning. I'll honestly admit that. Oh, I didn't. Boy. But now Because no do. one knew me. Right. And now you do like her? We get along. Right. She doesn't oh, like it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna slide. I'm not going to lie. Lisa, do you, do you think it's your beauty, seriously, that <laughs> Honestly, other women are jealous? I don't know. And I'm not going to say that to sound conceited, but I'm not going to. I really don't know why, but I have plenty of friends. I have a great personality, and if people want to give me a chance, great. And if not, in my eyes, it's their loss. I must say, I've had no problem with Lisa. I found her to be quite a pleasant addition to our staff. And that's a myself. I put Thank Lisa. You, Robin. I put Lisa on a pedestal. Yeah. So you could look up her dress. Exactly. <laughs> Lisa, let's get down to it. What was the most exciting day of your life? The day I got hired to be a Howard Stern intern. Is that really true? Honestly, I've had many exciting days. The day I won um, the Miss um, New York American Co-Ed and teen pageants. I mean, there's tons of them, but honestly, I always wanted an intern for Howard St for you because I grew up with my father watching his television show, and I came in a year in advance, and the day I got hired, I was just really happy. I was well, really proud of myself. Thank you for that answer. Hey, Howard? <laughs> yes. You know, it's funny because Ralph came up to me before, and he was complaining that when uh, Ralph wasn't named a judge, that Lisa was, like, sort of rude to him and that if she what? found out Ralph was a judge, she's been cozying up to him. Uh. When have I ever been rude to you, Ralph? It's not, it's not that you were rude. This is part of the reason you're going to score low in your personality. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Wait a minute. Oh. I guess, wait a minute. I think this is why people don't judges. like you. Unless you have something to gain from somebody, you don't. You're not friendly with them. Is that true, Lisa? I don't find that with you. I honestly, I don't think that's true. But in some cases, if that's his opinion, that's his opinion. And I'm sorry. Well, he should hold his way. opinion to the end of the uh, that's judging. Fine. I'm sorry you feel oh, that way. I'm just saying. Where are we in the contest? Well, now we're yeah. getting to this song, and here is Lisa. Lisa is also doing a little dance as she. Uh, I am Lisa P. My chest is 36. -y. Nice. I'm a single chick. I'd pick Howard quick if he was single too. Nice. I like that. Sometimes I'm kinky. <laughs> Had sex in a library. Oh, you did? I have real white teeth, and if I had whipped cream, I might do something obscene. <laughs> Don't make me scream. I'm a beauty queen. That's good. Better than these dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Next to me, they're just hogs. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. Not that you can't argue with that song. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, it's time
trying to go to the judges, Howard. I'm going to go to uh, Francisco the Stutterer first. And first of all, on overall appearance, what do you give uh, Lisa? I gave her a nine. Yeah, she's a beautiful woman, right? Yeah, I like her. All right, and what about her personality? Personality, a one. A one? one. What about her song, though? The song, I gave the song also a nine. Okay. A nine. Very high score. That's Francisco the Stutterer. I'm going to go to Gary the Retard. Gary, um, first of all, on her appearance, she dressed beautifully today. What do you yeah. give her? I'll give her a 10. A 10. Okay, good. Nice. That's nice. A 10. That's a very high score. Yeah, that's original. That's a tough score to beat. Uh, okay, let's go to personality now. Uh, she got a good personality. I like her smile. Thank you. <laughs> what do you give her? What do you give her? I give her. Another ten. A ten. Okay. Gary, okay. yeah, you have anything else in that bag besides ten? <laughs> let's go. Let's go now. now. Let's go on to the song. She did a beautiful song. Yeah. What did you think of the song? Ten. Ten. All right. There it is. <laughs> Lisa scoring very well with Gary the retard, but now Ralph is the tough uh -oh. one, isn't he? Yes. Okay, Lisa. Let's see how you did. First of all, on overall appearance, Ralph. I think a little something a little bit longer with a slit in it would look better for her. Really? Because her legs aren't that great. Oh, thanks. But Obviously. what about the chest and every all of that? I mean, my goodness. I'm not. I don't know. And and she's got great shoes. Right. Okay. So hey, give her a number. Beautiful hair, too. beautiful skin. She has good yeah. feet. Yeah. 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 So I'll give her a seven. Seven. Very nice. It's not bad. What if she was a man dressed like Liberace? Would right. she get a ten? Yeah. Uh, ten Eleven. Ten, ten, ten. Eleven. <laughs> all right. Now, what about her personality? Personality. Well. I, I, you know, barring how she, she's been towards me, I think she's a little full of herself. Uh, you do? Yeah. Well, are you basing that on her answers today? Yeah. You're basing yeah. it on yeah, the answers yeah, today? The way you felt she was full of herself today? Yeah, it's like a little, like wow. she's too into this whole thing. All right, thing. All right so quickly, give her a number. I'll give her a five. A five. And the talent, the talent, I thought she was good. She was kind of fun. She had that little prop going, so I'll give her an eight. An eight. All well, right. overall high scores from Ralph. I thought there was going to be trouble there, but not. Um, right. And now we have to uh, find out who the winner is. I, I have no idea who won. Wow, this is this is probably one of the closest contests we've ever had, Howard. Is that right? Give yeah, me the numbers. I will tell you. I will tell you right now that two and a half points separate all three. What? Wow. Really? Wow. Second runner-up with a total of 69 points, and I think she really got crushed by Francisco's one is Lisa. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, really, you did very well with all the judges, Lisa. If Francisco would have given her a four, she'd have won this contest. You, she would have unhanded the sound. Yeah. She would have taken it all. Francisco, you were very rough, I thought, wow. on her uh, on her you uh, personality. Find any more Score, Ralph caused that, one. by the way, because he brought up all that negativity. No, I didn't. Well, I haven't had why, that why, why I believe you, you did, because Lisa had it wrapped up. Yeah. I don't. Lisa, think are you in shock? Because well, I think. No, honestly, out. I came into it saying, like I said outside, I'm here for a good time. It's not a big deal. All right, very well, good attitude. Good. Who is the second, uh, uh, the first, first runner-up? Runner Our first runner-up with a score of 71, losing the crown by only one half point, is Corey. Wow. wow. So that means Deb is our winner. Deb, with Deb you are the winner. 71 and a half. Congratulations, Deb. Take your victory walk. <laughs> I know these two other ladies, beautiful ladies, are heartbroken. Oh. Tough, Corey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm glad you won. Are you going to be able to handle it? Yes, I am. All right, Lisa, are you going well, to be able to handle it? Well, if anything should happen to Deb, Corey would yeah. then get the crown. And if yeah. anything should happen to Corey, Lisa would then have to <laughs> take in her duty. She kills them both. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, who knew when Deb came up to sing that she'd be the best singer of the day? <laughs> Maybe it was a singing. Deb, uh, congratulations to you. Thank you. How does it feel to be the Miss Howard Stern Interim Beauty Pageant winner? It's a complete thrill. It really is. I've always looked forward to this day. Lisa, I know you're a professional. Let's hope that Deb does not go into yes. beauty pageants because <laughs> she could be. I wish her the best luck as she did. I'm not as, I wouldn't talk about people like she would, obviously. obviously. Yeah. Well, I'm such a, you know. Right. Well, a little tit for tat. <laughs> Watch my e-show every night except tonight.